Well, good morning, stag lovers. Um, welcome to Yorkshire Classic Cars Limited again uh, in Overcast Retford. Um, I've just done a quick update on the Capri and I thought I'd do a quick update before I start on the stag. As you can see, the boot floor is now in, um, beautifully welded in, as you can see. Some small repairs done around the edge on the periphery. Um, the actual back panel was in excellent condition. Um, just a small area of corrosion here and a small area of corrosion here. Um, the exhaust hangers are on there. And that one there at the back is just on temporarily. It may need to be moved because it's difficult to line these up and measure them out. Um, the angle and things can change. So, yeah, um, when you buy the stainless steel exhaust systems for these, which this will end up having, no doubt, um, the hangers can be slightly different to original and slightly different to each other. As you can see, the H sections are put in correctly. That's exactly how it should be. It's sealed. It's ready to rock and roll. Uh, big job. Nicely spot welded around the edges. Hope you can see that. Uh, small repair section we put in here. Um, that needs sealing, but of course, the next job on this side, I think it's this side, it could be the other side, but I'll try and zoom in, it's a bit dark. Uh, the inner wheel arches are not great. As you can see, the sill ends are full of holes. Um, it's had some repair work done previously. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll pause you there a second, get a torch. That's a bit better you can see now. Uh, as you can see, it's had some sort of repair work done there, but the inner arches haven't been repaired correctly or finished off. Um, it's just had patches put in, basically. The rear sections are very good, um, but they are, we're going to put new outer inner arches in, if that makes sense. Uh, this is a cover sill. So the sills really need to come off. Obviously, I'm going to discuss that with my customer before I do so. But that's actually a cover sill over the top of the original sill, which is obviously rotten and not adding any structure. So that really needs to come off. Uh, and as you can see, there's a few more quality repairs there that need to come out. Uh, Rust-wise, the heel boards there are very good. There is some rust on there, so until I've wire wheeled that off, uh, can't be sure whether that needs any repair work or not. I don't think it'll need a lot, even if it does. Uh, same on this side. Uh, again, uh, inner wheel arch not repaired correctly, or indeed at all. Actually, they've put outer wheel arches in, and the outer wheel arches are very good. Um, so they're going to stay. As you can see, there are holes around the edges of that. So those need replacing. So I think the next stage is to take the sills off. <clears throat> check the inner sills, check the, out, uh, well, and renew the outer sills and the bottom sections of the B panel. Um, bit of advice, if you're doing a stag, you desperately, desperately need to make sure the inner sills and outer sills are correct. They are the key part of the car, they are for all the strength, um, even with a hard top, even with a T-bar, they are absolutely crucial to a stag being correct. So basically, if you have any doubts about the sills, you're going to have to change them, but it is a big, long, drawn out and awkward process, but it's well worth doing. Um, if there's any doubts, like, so this car's going to go off for paint and have a colour change. There is no point sending it off for a colour change and putting fresh paint, and, you know, do six, seven, eight thousand pound paint job on a car, whatever it costs, um, and then finding out your sills weren't actually that good and in a year or two they've come through and gone rotten again. Um, the strength of the car is compromised, then you've got to do the sills and it's got to be repainted again, or the better half has. Um, so that's, you know, <laughs> you're not saving anything. Um, the customer wants the bodywork in perfect presentation, so it will be. Um, it's kind of how I do it anyway. So, uh, yeah, so didn't do, a, didn't do a video on the boot floor being done. Sorry about that. Kind of got in the zone a little bit there. Um, I am wondering about doing uh, an editorial, a tutorial, sorry, on um, doing panel repair work like this. So a friend of mine has been gracious enough to let me repair his bottom sections of his P100. Uh, it's a race car, so it's not having a floor in the back end. It's just having these repaired. Now, these are really technically beyond saving, as you can see. They are really, really, really attacked by the tin worm. However, 
Um, you just can't get them. Every, every set you get are like this. You can't get new ones. You can't get repair sections. So I'm going to have to make repair sections and put them in there. Uh, I've offered to do that. If you would be interested in seeing a video on that, I think I'll shoot it section by section. I won't do all the repairs, but I will show you how to make things like these corners here and the wing bottoms and put the right shapes in and the, you know, the flares and stuff on because people do seem to struggle with that a little bit. I see a lot of welding on Facebook. I see a lot of welding on uh, YouTube. I see a lot of repair work done and people do struggle a little bit with sections like this. So um, not saying they're not doing it well. I'm just saying that, you know, there, there are ways that I find easier to do it. That it may be worth you trying, you know. Um, I'm not saying I'm doing it the, the only way or the right way. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I have ways of doing these things. So, yeah, um, the sill job on this stag is, would be very difficult to film, um, unfortunately. However, I can do these and I can do that as a little workshop if anybody's interested in seeing that. Okay, so yeah, the other thing about the stag, you'll notice the rear axle and beam is off. Uh, that will all need painting in there, of course. Um, it's been quite thick under sealed, which has protected it. A little bit of a saving grace there. Um, the suspension is stripped. I have some sandblasting to take in today. So as you can see, the lonely differential sat on the floor there with its quill shaft in. That will need a clean and paint, but I will say it does look oil tight. Um, the rest of the stuff is over here to go off for blasting this morning. There's some other odds and sods I'm getting done. Uh, some bumper brackets and stuff. So I've, I, there's some stuff I had to do today or really needed to do today. So I thought if I get the stag suspension stripped, I can get those blasted as well. I'm going to let him blast the back arms. Those are, those are some other arms. These arms are still built up for the green stag. But I can build these ones up. Uh, rather than strip those to build them back up, I can just take the parts off them as, as I need. A lot's missing. So these have been painted in the past. It's all flaking off in a mess anyway, so they need just redoing. But they are good, tidy, straight arms and the debushed and everything. I'm taking the bushings out. Okay, so next time I do a job on the stag, it'll be here. Um, once the sills are done and the inner arches and the rear end is done, I'll get all this painted. And then I'll bob the suspension back on all painted. And I'll show you when I build that up. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye-bye.